1,000 miles on a Harley Road Glide, AKA Mama Shark, to visit the Shade Tree Army. This might be the oldest bike I've ever ridden. And train with the motorman himself, Jerry Palladino. It's only my second road trip ever. I had just gotten back from my first road trip on a Harley Street Glide, 2,000 miles in six days. I called her Big Red. I figured this trip, a thousand miles with days of rest in the middle, would be super easy. I was wrong. And I had new problems I didn't have before. One road trip was clearly not enough to make me an expert. Maybe two would do it. We about to make a good girl go bad, okay? <laughs> Blue's on my channel, finally! It's never happened before. <laughs> I never thought I'd be riding not one, but two baggers, double the weight of my own bike, over a thousand miles alone. But Harley was the only one that could come through when I emailed the contacts I had with such short notice while my bike was delayed in the shop due to the pandemic. It was either now or next year. So despite being a smaller rider used to much smaller bikes, I decided two wheels was better than no wheels and told myself to trust the dozen of classes I had taken this year and an overly cautious personality. I had planned to do this trip with a stop in Orlando to celebrate my mom's birthday with family. Then to Tampa, where I'd stay the rest of the week to visit the Shade Tree Army. Lured another one in here. Shade Tree. <laughs> oh my God. Another fellow motovlogger. I'm here with upcoming YouTuber, Mike Branch. And meet up with Jerry Palladino which you'll see in another video. But first, I had to deal with two problems. Not another coastal flood warning like on my first trip. It was something else. I left the crisp fall weather and came into the center of the sun. It was the fire of a Latin family. I was gonna go for my mom's birthday, mm -hmm. but then I just now told her that I'm going on a motorcycle and she's freaking out. Oh no. She's like, God, I'm not comfortable with that. So I'm like, uh, I am sweating even on the highway. Florida, what the hell? Yes, I'm a grown up, but I really don't like the idea of knowing that I'm stressing my parents out, especially considering they raised me through my teenage years and somehow don't hold it against me. After that, I seriously contemplated whether or not I should take a bike on this trip. But I decided to tell my parents my riding was not negotiable. I was going on the road glide. I couldn't get some of the accessories you all suggested on my last road trip to make the long ride more comfortable. A higher windscreen, a backrest, or highway pegs. Because these Harleys were rentals, and they didn't exactly have a warehouse of accessories available for rent too. I did switch out my double visor to sunglasses like the Terminator, thinking it may have been the cause of my headache on the last trip. Another thing I learned in my last road trip is that I would need to stop about every hour and a half to two hours, needing more breaks the more miles I put on in the day. So whatever the GPS told me, to add about an hour for every two to three hours. GPS told me it would take seven hours to get to my first stop in Orlando. So I planned for 10. I started up at 6 a.m. Road trip number two, let's go! Oh no. Is it dead? It's all down to connect and I can feel those things being hot, so I know there's current pressure. Okay. Why are you putting your helmet on? In case it's ready to go, I can just take off. All right. Yes! Thank you. So I started up at 7 a.m. And then a light was on. Either it was because I just tripped something when I had to restart the battery for some mysterious reason. Because those lights were on. Or because something was wrong with the bike I was about to ride 1,000 miles on. Luckily, there was a Harley dealership right off my route. Yeah, it looks like it was just an ECM voltage uh, low code. Um, I'll show you. Whenever the battery voltage gets low, uh -huh. if it drops or if it gets too high, it's going to throw a code. 
Oh. Um, is it okay then? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woohoo! Thank God. Uh, Thank you so much. No worries. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You it. Trip. I will. I'm coming for you, Shade Tree Army. But first, family and food. Further south I got, riding further away from the crisp fall weather, the hotter it got. Eventually, I started to hope for just a little bit of that rain from my first trip. Unfortunately, it didn't last very long. Hi, Mom! I'm just looking for parking. I see some over there. You look fabulous. <laughs> In case you couldn't tell. My mom and I are very different, but she's always been very supportive. Uh, no, because parking is difficult. Like turn, so right here I had lots of space I could turn. So I have a GPS in it, so if someone takes it, it calls my phone and it'll show me where it goes. And, and then I'm gonna the put police. this, uh-huh, and I'm gonna put this on it. Good. I did. On a bike, I'll stop like every hour and a half. Oh, so really? Yeah, it's so it takes a lot longer. Oh, I thought she was joking. A motorcycle? Oh, thank you for the Carolyn. Next stop, Shade Tree Army. There's my auntie. my mom's car because I am not riding back late at night on my bike. I don't know if Shay's coming. I know she's still healing from her crash. Oh, excuse me. Play it cool. God, play it cool. Holy shit. What? I just literally jumped like six steps. Can you believe I'm in Shay Tree Surgeon's You're house? You're damn right you're in Shay Tree Surgeon's house. Lured another one in here. Shay Tree. Oh my god. Listen up, girl. You're in trouble with the two of us. And guess what? We didn't come alone. We brought back backup for our backup. Listen up, baby. We about to make a good girl go bad, okay? <laughs> this is very good. I'm the tallest girl here. <laughs> Backdrop of Maria. Shirt. <laughs> Blue's on my channel, finally. It's never happened before. <laughs> There you go. Whoa! You're like Jesus. <laughs> no. Brought it back this from is, the dead. This is like a ten dollar part. Is this the bike that hurt your wheels, Rowan? And she said that the brakes don't work. I always get nervous riding other people's bikes. I want to be extra careful with someone else's baby. Whoa! Apparently, this bike was as old as me. Okay. Like I said, it just, the, the clutch engage is real late. Uh huh. It has crappy suspension because it's an old bike. Uh huh. So it can bottom out. Uh huh. The steering can be a little heavy. Other than that, it's just a fucking motorcycle. You've ridden them before. Okay. 
this is what I was writing. You're gonna let me write this one? Yeah. A 1989 Honda ST1100. I was trying to act calm. This is different. But I was nervous. I think they knew. Don't be worried, you have Garfield to protect you. Oh. Literally, what's the worst that could happen? Say it. I could drop it. Is that the worst you could think of? No. Wow. <laughs> That was just what I was thinking of, I guess. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. I really have. I I I forget. You know, sometimes I forget to think about it logically. Okay, here I go. Really? Oh, okay. you already brought a bike back from the dead. Which one? This one. <laughs> Today. Oh, it, this one's barely living. As soon as it I let go of the like throttle, yeah. it died. Oh. That's why I'm sitting there and revving it at the stoplight. Oh, I thought you were just having fun. No. So I will rev back. <laughs> Look at this place. This place Shane Tree picked up. Damn it's so fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a little French fry? One of my favorite part of motorcycles are the people I've met because of it. Through two wheels, I've made friends with people I may have never met otherwise. Upcoming YouTuber, Mike Branch. He rides a Royal Enfield Continental GT650. But now he has this bike and this bike. Okay, bye mom, love you. As for my family, they're still pretty worried about me riding, but they've been pretty respectful most of the time and supportive. I got charge. Love you. Love you. Thanks for the burritos and the lemon bars. <laughs> That's the best thing you can ask for. Was at home again beside the stream. One thousand. Oh, I'm tired. Road trip number two done. Subscribe to Noodle on the motorcycle. Mom, Doodle. Huh?